Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, don't be scared. It was just a mask of George W. Bush. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, you may have heard, um, there's a big election coming up. Election for the President of the United States. Now, I'm not really a political guy, and this is not a political channel, but being the extremely popular public figure that I am, I felt that it was my civic duty to encourage people to get out and vote this coming Tuesday. Now, the problem that you have is what does politics in voting have to do with fishing? And the answer is quite simple, very little. <laughs> There's like very little overlap. So what I decided to do instead was, I'm being very sneaky about this, I've gone through my tackle box and picked out some select lures that remind me of the candidates. Does it sound weird? It, it is a little bit weird, but it's, that way I can kind of remind you of the candidates without actually talking about them. So, I know it's weird, but stick with me here. Let's go catch some fish. All right, what I'm gonna tie on now is this. This is a Roadrunner quarter ounce, basically an underspin with a white uh, Zoom grub. And as you'll notice, the, uh, the body is all white but the head is unnaturally orange. All right. Well, that's what I'm seeing busting all over the place. These little guys. little t tiny guy a little large mouth all right next lure I'm gonna try out I've never actually used one of these so this will be an interesting experience it is a half ounce spro bucktail where it's you know got a half ounce jig head and then it has uh, a uh, a hair skirt on it um, it's called a bucktail or a preacher jig it's also called a hair plug. He was barely hooked. But, another nice little guy. Look at him. Oh, he's got something, some kind of, some kind of something on his, uh, like I got an infection or something. We're gonna get him back in the water here. All right, the next lure I'm gonna try out is the V-Twin Buzzbait by True South Custom Lures. The water is really still, but I'm looking for something that's loud and disruptive. Nice little spot here. Interesting thing happened on that fish. I was fishing, was buzzing it along, fish hit, missed, reeled in. 
I reach back, the, the thing was still in the water. I reach back to reset my camera, and I guess that lure was floating down in the water. This fish hit it while it was just sitting down in the water. <laughs> nice little spot. Let's get him back in the water. All right, uh, what I got tied on right now is a Rebel Pop R. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty beat up and ragged, but that's because it's the oldest lure in my tackle box. All right. Man, little little large mouth here. Next lure that I'm going to be using is this. This is a uh, this is one of my favorite the, the two dollar Ozark Trail square bill crankbait, and uh, I bought Ozark Trail is the brand from Walmart, and as you know, everything in Walmart is made in China. Little channel cat on the Ozark Trail lure made in China. China. All right. Um, what we're gonna fish with next is this. This shaky head jig, 3 16 ounce with a zoom trick worm. The color is uh brown orange swirl um, sounds kind of like a that's the name of the color it sounds kind of like a bad gastrointestinal thing but this is a uh, brown orange swirl and what we're going to do is I got this crawfish fish attract I'm going to spritz it with that and it adds a crawfish, uh, crawfish scent to it because we all know fish like to sniff things guy. Nice large mouth here. I think we may be on to something. Look at this guy. Let's get back in the water. Oh, right. Come on, 
That was the weirdest bite. That thing, he had it for like a minute. I thought I was hung up on like somebody. You know, sometimes you get like a fishing line that's left in there and it it doesn't feel like a fish. It just feels like there's something slightly tugging on it and it's moving. I thought I was hung up on someone else's fishing line, but came out to be this spot. Nice guy, man. Nice fish. Let's get him back in the water. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the Abide Fishing Election Day special. Um, was able to catch fish on all of the lures that resemble the candidates, except the one, uh, the bucktail. Was not able to catch fish on that, mainly because I got hung up on a rock and lost it at the bottom of the river. So, um, we didn't catch any monsters, but we were able to catch a variety, and even if they were small, they still count just like your votes <laughs> so uh i know we kind of had fun with the the whole election thing but again voting is important and if you so choose the election is tuesday vote for your candidate as you see fit and uh i don't know let's uh let's see what happens but if you are curious and want to know anything about any of the lures or anything that I used today, you can look down in the description box. I'm going to put some additional information down there. While you're there, help a brother out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, the only way this channel succeeds is by word of mouth. So tell your friends, tell your family, share it on your social, me social media. Um, if you'd like to be featured on the channel, I'm going to leave a little link up top here. That is a video as far as instructions as to how to be featured in Tackle Roundup. So be sure to check that out. If you'd like to say hello or promote your own social media or just be a part of the channel, uh, that's where you can do that. What else? I believe that's it. Once again, guys, I'm so glad that you're here. And uh, I will be seeing you next week. This is Josh. And this is Abide Fishing. America. <laughs>